Now to enable OnViv on a Hexvision camera. So we're going to go open your Chrome browser. And in the top field, you put in the address of your camera. My camera is 192.168.1.64. Yours will be different. Uh, so there's many ways to find out the address of your camera. Once you do that, you can enter it into the browser. Uh, like I said, just the numbers, 192.168.1.164 will bring me to my camera. So we're gonna hit enter. And now you will see the login screen for the HexFiction camera. Uh, also the usernames are admin. And the password is whatever you previously set up. Uh, in your camera. If you haven't set it up before, do the setup first and then come back and watch this video. Uh, so the, the login is admin and then the password. Once you have that, you hit login. Then you will see a live view of your camera of the camera. And then there's lots of things on the screen here, but none of them are that important. You're going to go to configuration, which is on the top. It'll show you this screen here. And all the way on your left, you will see where it says network. You're going to click on network. And then you're going to see on this list under basic settings, it's going to say advanced settings. So under advanced settings, you're going to look at this top line here. And on this top line, it's going to say integration protocols. So click on that. Now the screen changed. All the way on the top, you'll see I already have OnViv uh, checked. Uh, after your checkbox is enable OnViv, you're going to create a OnViv profile, an admin profile. So we're going to go over here where it says user list. This has to directly deal with OnViv. So when you're logging into an OnViv camera, uh, it'll know the username and password, so you can create it just specifically for OnViv. Uh, you can use the same admin as the login Watch. and the same password, but you have to tell it. So I'm going to hit add. Uh, on, for this one, because since I already created admin, I'm going to create one with my name. It's just Stuart. Uh, the password is my standard. So the same password I use for most things. And checkbox, checkbox, it says eight, 16 characters, you know, regular password rules, uh, password and then confirmation, right? And it says media user, operator, or administrator. I check administrator. There's different levels of use. Uh, you probably, just need to check administrator, hit OK. And then we're going, you see it's in the field now. See, I have admin and the new one, Stuart, has been here saved. Hit save. You'll see it in the corner saying saved successfully. And that's how you add a profile after you've enabled OnViv in this screen. And, uh, Whatever device you're trying to connect OnViv to should work. So thank you.